guys, it's Lee, and I'm back today with a pretty big Dollar Tree haul for you. So this is the first one since I got back from Ireland. If you missed those videos, please go check them out. I did some like collective hauls and a walk to a local village, well, one near where my daughter lives. So I'm finally feeling up to doing some videoing and editing and stuff, and I bought stuff last week to do a video, never did it, so that's included in this. And then I've just bought a few things today. So it's gonna probably be on the bigger side and I am not sorting it. I am going bag by bag so it'll all be jumbled, but at least I'll have it hauled. I can put it away and move on. All right, so here we go. So the first bag, I have these cookie cutters. I love the shapes of these. They are so cool. I bought one of each. I don't know if I'm going to make cookies this year, but they're nice to put in my cookie cutter stash. I also found these little steaks. They're steaks. I'm gonna put them in a flower pot so you know it looks like a witch fell in the flower pot. They also came in purple and black, but I really liked the orange ones better. So I got those. On to the next bag, I found these Smart Fries Aged White Cheddar, 100% crunchy deliciousness. Um, 2.5 ounces, and it says they are air popped potato sticks. They looked good, so I just grabbed one of these to try. I got some Bloody Bites Glow in the Dark Plastic Bangs with Oozing Candy Blood Bags watermelon flavor and I picked these up for Halloween to give to the trick-or-treaters. Next up I picked up these lip pops. It says spooky selfies for mini pops individually wrapped. These are also to give out on Halloween to kids who don't like chocolate because my oldest he likes chocolate now but when he was a kid he didn't so I try to find things you know for other kids as well or for kids who don't like chocolate. I guess I got two of those. I bought these last week, so I don't remember what's in here. I picked up these Boo Bling uh, candy jewelry sets. Yeah, I mean, everybody loves candy bracelets, right? Lots of little kids do. So I got these, also not chocolate. I am going to buy chocolate, but um, I just like to pick up some non-chocolate items. I got two packs of those. How many are in here? Does it say? Oh, 16 count, so. I picked up some of these Tiger Pops. They are strawberry ice cream flavored. And I don't know how many are in here. Does it say? Let me see on the back. It says 11 servings, so there should be 11 of them in there. I picked up the Sour Jack's Mouth Puckering Candy. They just looked interesting, and I know, you know, one of my kids will like those. I also picked up the Tiger Pops in watermelon. There we go. I like to have lollipops for the little kids. Next up, I picked up a few non-candy items for Halloween. I got these necklaces were actually a big hit and they were actually a big hit last year. Uh, you get four, I probably should have picked up more of them. The little kids loved these necklaces. They have bones and skulls on them. And maybe when I go back, I'll get a few more of these because I'm telling you, the kids loved them. I picked up these little spiky balls to give out as well. You get six pieces. I got two packs of those. And then I also picked up two packs of these rings. You put them on your finger and then it looks like your finger has eyeballs. It makes a little, like a finger puppet, I guess. Those are so cute, so there's 12 of those total. I grabbed these skeleton, they're calling them tongs, but they're not connected, I don't think, so they're really more like salad forks, or are they? I don't think they're connected, but I just thought they were cool. They make a cool decoration, so I grabbed that. I picked up this sign that says, Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat, it's a skull a jack-o'-lantern and a black cat in the back of a truck. I just thought that was really cute. Look how cute it is. So I got that one. I don't need any signs. I have so many 
from years past, but that one was too cute to pass up. Next, I got some Halloween cupcake liners. I don't really know why, because I don't plan on making cupcakes for anything, but you never know. So I got these um, with the sugar skulls and skeletons. I got the orange ones that have the black cats and the jack-o'-lantern and bats. I thought these were really cute and they say Happy Halloween. Happa? Happy Halloween. And then I got this one just because it was cute. It's silver and it's got spiders and jack-o'-lanterns and Dracula and candy. And I thought, oh, there's a witch. I just thought they were super cute as well. I don't know if you remember remember me saying this in a previous haul that I don't need anything for Halloween. Nothing. Well, except candy and treats to hand out. And yet here I am buying all of this Halloween stuff. Now these I really like. I'm going to put these in my front windows. There are two. Ah, oh, I should have gotten some for upstairs. Well, uh, hopefully I can hopefully I can get some more of these. I have windows upstairs. I didn't think about that. So these will go in my living room windows. And then this one can go on the door. One year, that, I think it was the first or second year we were here, I got one that was so freaking scary. And there's a cutout in my front door. So if the light's on inside, it looked so scary. The face that was right in the window was so scary that on Halloween, I had to turn off the lights inside because some children, little kids were afraid to come up to my door. Um, that's back when we would answer the door. Now we just sit outside with the candy. It's easier. And that's because of the chihuahuas. Every time the doorbell rings, they go insane. So we just sit outside on Halloween. Next, I picked up these little cups. They're just calling them cups. And I don't know what I'm going to do with them, honestly, but I just loved them. These are little um, fall-themed cups. And I was thinking probably not going to have anybody over and I should have picked up more because if we do oh maybe for football I'll have to see if I can find more sometimes my husband invites a few friends over for football and they make chili these would be cute to put the chili in now I have to get more though I'll have to get more if I can find them but anyway I got the sunflower ones and I got this one with the pumpkins and the leaves and I just thought they were really cute and I didn't know what I was going to use them for when I picked them up Next up, I picked up these containers. I love these if you make cookies or if you just want to give somebody some stuff, some whatever. You can put them in these little containers and they are so cute. Just anything you want to give somebody. So I got one in the orange and I actually picked up two of these. Uh, it says, which way to the party? And it has a cute witch on it. And yeah, get the top on that. I thought it was super cute, so. Got those. I picked up these window decoration, the fall themed ones. I was thinking about putting putting them on our side light by the front door. I thought that would be really pretty. Hopefully they'll stick. Nothing ever stays there, but I keep trying. Next, I picked up this. It's just a little decorative piece in it's a sugar skull. They had a couple of different colors, but I just grabbed one. I like sugar skulls, so I got it. And it has the little kickstand on it. I'm sure that has an actual name. Next up, I picked up these wood cutouts. I got the Bride of Frankenstein. I have an idea for these. We'll see what happens. And then this skull one. I think that looks really cool. I got the Haunted House. And Frankenstein's Monster. So I picked up those. Here's the other one of these containers. My son asked last night if we had any hot chocolate. We don't, so I was in the store today and found this and I just grabbed one of those. It's not really hot chocolate weather yet, I don't think, but that's up to him. Although, he and my husband both drink hot coffee, so. I found these Thera Plus Supports, Supports? Braces, <laughs> I'm reading what it says here. I got the Knee Support the ankle support, and the wrist support. And I don't know, let me open the wrist one. I mean, they seem pretty cheap, but they 
there I put it on it might be helpful you never know for somebody I do have an issue with actually this thumb so it might come in handy we'll see it can't hurt to have them on hand I also found these metal words there's haunted spooky and beware in there got those I got two incense burners I found this one that looks like a lotus flower I'm guessing I think that's what it's supposed to be and then just this round one I like burning incense so I picked up those I don't do it very often but I should do it more I have a ton of it and most of it came from the Dollar Tree next up I found these ceramic DIYs what they say on the bottom um, pieces so I got the sugar skull that is so cool paint pouring over that might happen <laughs> so I got this skull as well and I should have picked up more than one of each of these but I only got one I got the owl and I'm guessing that if I went back to the store they would all be gone so I kind of regret only getting one of each so I grabbed those I picked up some more of these hint waters I actually got two each I got the blackberry and the raspberry two each of those and one of the Alka 65 50.7 fluid ounce alkaline water with elect I almost said electronics with electrolytes I grabbed a bag of egg noodles just because we don't have any these were made in New Jersey if anyone's interested in knowing that fact I picked up a box of these sure fresh cover-ups they go over bowls and I wish they had more of the large ones in there. The large ones have the white elastic around it and you only get six of them. I wish the whole box was the large ones. Next I found this. They're calling it a party tray. I just love sugar skulls so I grabbed it. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it but I liked it and I'll find a use for it. I'll find something to do with it. I picked up two of these Blistex medicated berry lip balm with SPF 15. I grabbed some more fabric because heaven knows I need more fabric. Anyway, I got this one with Frankenstein's monster. There's a spider. I don't know. I think it's a scary vampire. I thought it was cute. So I got one of those. I got two of these with the candy corn. I love candy corn. I know a lot of people don't, but I like it. And two of these green with black polka dots. And these are fat quarters. They're 20 by 21 inches. Next by Luminescence, I picked up some of the fragrance oils. I got three in Harvest Cider. I love anything apple scented. So I got those. And then I got two in pumpkin chai. I thought these both smelled really nice. They had other uh, scents, but I don't remember off the top of my head what they were. I might have a picture of them, I'm not sure. I found these Epsom salt tablets, lavender scented, and I'm excited to use these the next time I take a bath. I love lavender and it's so calming and it's one of my favorite scents, so Let's see, there are six, and it says we use one to two per tub, per tub, <laughs> per bath. So yeah, I just grabbed one of those. I found these iJoy electronic wipes. They are 70% isopropyl alcohol and fragrance free. I'm thinking maybe you could use these for your hands as well if they're just isopropyl alcohol. I have to look and see if there's anything else in there, but I got these because Electronics are everywhere in our house and in our lives. I got one more each of these Airwick essential oils fragrance thingies. <laughs> so I got lavender, chamomile, and vanilla and pink papaya. I use these in my office and I love them. And they, now they're on the floor, but <laughs> they last a while. So I like them. I keep it on the lowest setting though. I grabbed a couple of bath puffs and I didn't mean to get them both in pink but that's okay so this one is the body benefits by body image bath spun with removable bracelet 
that one's in pink. And then I got this one by Clean Logic Mesh Bath Sponge. And I thought I picked up the blue one, but I guess I got it in pink. I got some scented hand wipes. These are by Be Pure. I got coconut, and you get 20 in there. I got lavender and citrus. I picked up a candle snuffer. We've been using candles a lot more lately, uh, just to make the house smell nice. So I thought I'd grab one of these. They came in three different colors. This dark color and then like a copper. I can't remember the other one, but they came in three different colors. Picked up some flexible bandages, the kind that you can put on your finger, just because we were running low on those. Then by Crown Jewels, I found these little notepads. Look how cute. And it's cats with glasses. And then look how cute. It's dogs with glasses. That's what it looks like inside of that one. And yes, yeah, by Crown Jewels. And Crown Jewels never says how many sheets are in there. Um, notebooks and stuff so I don't know how many so I got I actually got a couple of each of these I'm going to give one to my daughter and save that for her I found this magnetic four in a row game and it looks like fun 44 game pieces game board and instructions so I thought it looks like a fun little game and then lastly I picked up two more of these cats with glasses bag I left Two of the ones I have in Ireland and then these are going to some other people I know here in the US not in Ireland all right so I believe that is everything as I look around oh I actually got two of these I thought I got two and then when I didn't see it I second-guessed myself so I did get two of those hang on I was wrong that wasn't everything I found one more one more item I got these they are stretch rainbow balls. I got two of them. I'm gonna open one real quick here. And this is what it's like. It's gooey inside, and it's stretchable, and I like, it. ew, what is that? <laughs> anyway, I got one, two of these to play with, so. Stress relief. All right, so now that's everything I picked up this time around at the Dollar Tree and now I have a bunch of pictures to show you of items I saw in the store that I thought were really cool but I just didn't need them so I just took a picture so you could see them. So check out those pictures and meet me right back here. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those pictures and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.